how to set up milestones and tasks with Zoho projects. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will take you through the steps needed for you to set up milestones and tasks within Zoho projects. So if you already don't have a Zoho or projects account, you can just visit this website here. So you can just go to zoho.com slash projects. And here you can just go to um, access Zoho projects and you can just go ahead and create an account. Uh, and if you already don't know, it is actually does offer you a free plan. So you can just go ahead and get started for free. And we can just jump into the uh, tutorial. Okay, so once you actually create your account and you create your first project and everything is set and good to go. First, we are going to be discussing how to create your milestones. Now, you need to understand one little bit of information is that uh, Zoho did rename milestones to become phases. So usually speaking, you would want to create phases, but I'm just going to refer to them as milestones, uh, but they're exactly the same thing. So if you want to create milestones, you can just go to the name of the project that you want to create milestones for. And then here from within the uh, tabs over here, you can just go ahead and click on organize tabs and you should find phases within here. So this is how to actually enable it. But I think by default, you will not be able to find it like I have right here. And you will actually re be required to enable phases or milestone to be able to create them. To do so, it's very simple. We can just exit out of here. We will need to go to the overview tab over here and we will need to click on settings. Which will take us to the customization tab for the modules. And we are going to be looking for the module phases so phase this one right here you will need to go ahead and turn it on and click on update at the bottom and now it should actually implement this change and we should be able to find phases in our projects now so you will need to go back and you will need to go and access uh, your project that you want to create the uh, milestones for go to the top and make sure that you organize tabs and uh, click on uh, phases and make sure that it is on top here so we can actually see it very easily and now that we have this complete what we can do is just click on phases and basically we want to create a new milestone so we'd want to click on add phase uh, from here we all need to just give it a name so i'm just going to go ahead and give it the name test uh, milestone And then here, if you want to clone it from an existing phase, this way you don't really have to um, put to the information back again. If it's almost exactly the same, you just want to change a few. You can just go ahead and click on clone from existing phase, but I'm just going to leave it as it is. And now we can also do more stuff like change the information about to the actual milestone. So you would want to set up an owner uh, to the actual milestone. So if you have more than just one person in your Zoho projects account, and this is going to show the list of all the people who are working within this um, Zoho projects. And then you would want to give it a start date for this entire, mil entire milestone. So you would want to set this up. I'm just going to make it uh, on, let's say, 21st. And then the end date for this entire uh, milestone is going to be... Well, let's just do... Uh, September 20th uh, so I'm just going to leave it as that but it's completely up to you on when you want it to start and when you want to actually end it and then the flag is just whether, basically whether it's going to be internal or external or external and you can read more about them over here if you want to also add tags it's, you can feel free to do so from here but we can just simply skip this and click on add and now we should basically have this milestone ready to go so we can actually go ahead and access it. And from, from within the actual milestone itself, we can see the percentage of the tasks done. And not only that, from within the milestone, which is going to be the top of the umbrella, we can create task lists. And from within the task lists, we can create tasks. So hopefully that made a whole lot of sense for you, but I'm just going to show you exactly what I mean. So we can just go ahead and start by adding some task lists. So I'm just going to create one task list, which is going to be, uh, let's say, a script 
writing. Uh, let me just do that again. Script writing. And then if you want to add tags, it's completely up to you. And then I'm just going to click on add. So this is not a task. This is a task list. So it's going to include multiple tasks within it. Okay. And then we can also add another task list, which is going to be video editing uh, and publishing. We can just keep it like that. If you want to add a tag again, you can simply do so, but I'm just going to click on add. And now we have two different task lists within the actual milestone. So we can just go for the first one here, script writing, and we can just basically add as many tasks as we want within that. So we can just go to add task and let's just add a few. So we can just uh, do write uh, introduction. For example, if you want to go ahead and add a description, you can feel free to do so. Uh, and you can hear from within the description, you can actually go ahead and make it bold, change the uh, whole thing if you want. So you can just, you know, play around with the font, font size, and all of those things are going to be available for you to change the test, test text the way you would like. If you want to also drop files or attach files to this uh, task, you can also do so from here. And we have some more task information like the associated team. If you have created any teams within the Zoho projects, they are going to show up in here and you can associate this task for that specific team. So maybe if you have script writing team, you can just go ahead and assign it to them. The owner of the task, you can just go ahead and assign it to a person. Uh, if you want to speak but like specify the working hours or how how much time this is actually going to take you can do so from here but i'm not really going to do it and most of the time you're not really going to use this function but some people do so yeah this option is available for you and then we can go ahead and set up the start date and due date for this uh task so we can just make it so that it is tomorrow and then the due date is um two days from then and then the priority is going to be either low, medium, or high. And you can also customize it to your liking from the, from within the settings. So I'm just going to go ahead and make it high for, for the time being. If you want to add tags, completely up to you. And if you want to send out reminders, you can actually go ahead and do it. So we can just do re daily reminders, for example, uh, at a specific time. So for the time being, it is daily. Uh, it's uh, at 12 a.m. every single day. And it's just going to notify uh, the person the specific person that you want so for example either the project owner the uh, team that is related to it and so on or a specific person if you would like so you can go ahead and set reminders okay so or, or you can also do it by specific date uh, but i'm just not going to do any and for reoccurrence if it's an, a reoccurrence task you can also set this up so we can for example make it daily weekly monthly or yearly task and you can just go ahead and set this up accordingly but again i'm not going to do it so i'm just going to click on cancel click on add and we have one task done from within the script writing it is available now uh, it is open and everything so let me just add another task real quick uh write the outro or whatever it may be and i just have this one without any more settings and now for example if this is Let's say uh, da, 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 in progress, open and view, delayed. You can also set it up as delayed, for example, or this one is in progress uh, and so on. So you can just go ahead and ha have them uh, with the specific status that they have. Uh, and we can just go back now. If we just exit out of here, we can go back now and we can see script writing. Uh, one of them is pretty much complete. So it's just going to also show us 50%, uh, the one that we just closed. Uh, and if this one is also closed, then we can just go ahead and you can see that it is 100% complete. And same goes for this one. Uh, this is the other task list. You can go ahead and add tasks to it. And overall, overall, it's just going to show you on the percentage on the top here. Uh, if it actually refreshes here, it's going to show us the overall... A percentage of it being done so we can see here because there's no tasks in here it says 100 percent. but if, if there's tasks in here for example test uh and this one oops sorry 
and this one is in progress and we can just go back now this is 100 percent. it should not be 100 percent anymore because there's one task that is not done yet so we can see now the percentage of the overall thing uh, and we can also see it from the outside which is great so we can just have a, an eagle eye view of the entire project with these phases or milestones and this is pretty much how to set up your milestones, tasks list, uh, task lists, and also tasks within Zoho projects. It is very easy to do and simple. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.